Hello and salut everybody. Question of the day is, what are my superfood for flat abs? Welcome to my channel, Nick's Quarantine Survival Gear. If you have not subscribed to my channel, I am urging you to please subscribe below. If you're new to my channel, subscribe below, share this video, like, and also check out the rest of my videos. Thank you very much for your support. So the question is, I get this question a lot. Are there superfood for flat abs? With exercise, of course. I want to tell you that there are plenty of superfoods out there that you can incorporate in your diet. If you're working out and not getting the result that you want on your abs, there are plenty of superfood that you can search, research and uh, incorporate them in your diet. Stay consistent with them to see results. But I have three superfoods that I have incorporated in my adult life and they have been working for me and hopefully they'll help you as well. And uh, there are three I want to share with you today. You ready? My first superfood is avocado. Before you start feeling certain way, because I know a lot of people don't like avocado. They don't like to hear the name avocado because of the texture. They don't like the way it tastes. But I want to tell you that avocado is one of the top superfoods out there for your abs. Avocado is full of natural nutrients and it's full of natural fats. So it's not storing it in your gut. Your stomach, your stomach and your body is using it constantly. So it's so good for you. And plus you digest it faster. So avocado is not the top, uh, the top superfood for your stomach. If you're struggling trying to eat avocado, I want to tell you that you can add them in your smoothies. If you're a smoothie person, add them in your smoothie. I know I'm a smoothie person. I love smoothies. That's my breakfast, my breakfast every day. So add them in your smoothie. If you're not a smoothie person, you're a salad person, use avocado as your salad base. And if you don't, if that's too much for you, just cut them and add them in your salad. If you're not a smoothie or salad person, you're a burger or sandwiches person, substitute all those not so good stuff in your burgers, in your sandwiches with avocado, especially mayonnaise. Substitute those and it's so delicious, so smooth and delicious and I promise you that you will love them. That's number one. Number two is kale. You know, cow kale is, kale is simple, but at the same time, it's crunchy. So a lot of people don't know and, and they don't like to eat it. But I'm telling you, kale is so full of natural nutrients as well. That is good for your stomach. And if you're struggling to eat them, add them in your smoothie. Like I said, I'm a smoothie person, but I, but it is so good for you. You can never go wrong with, you know, smoothie. So what I do is I use kale and avocado as my base for my smoothies and I add anything else I want in them. Again, if you're not a smoothie person, use it as your salad base. If you're somebody who just loves side dishes, like you do spinach, use kale instead. It's crunchy and it's so delicious. And if you, you not, you know, you, you don't like to eat it that way. And you are somebody who like chips, you know, you just like snacking on chips on crunchy stuff. You can do kale chips, you know, it's the healthiest and the best chips you can find out there. And it's simple to make. All you do is rinse it up, sprinkle a little bit of salt on them and you put them in the oven. And like I said, you have the best and healthiest chips you can ever have anywhere and your stomach will thank you every day. I promise you. You ready for the third superfood? The third superfood is sweet potatoes. And before you start jumping and getting excited, slow your roll. I'm not talking about the loaded sweet potato you get in the restaurant. Sweet potato full with butter, sour cream, sugar on top of sweet potato. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about those. I'm not talking about loaded sweet potato and I'm not talking about fried sweet potatoes either. No, I'm talking about plain baked sweet potato. When people are trying to tone their stomach, a plain baked sweet potato is what they use. So I want you to eat plain. You can still get it from the restaurant, but tell them that you want them plain. The best way I eat my sweet potato, I buy the purple because the purple is sweeter. So I mix them with the regular one. I cut them in bite sizes. I, I, I sprinkle salt and, and, and avocado oil and I put them in, in the oven and that's my snack. I eat them with my smoothie in the morning. I know it's not yummy. It doesn't sound yummy right now, but it's so good for you. I eat them with my smoothie. I snack throughout the day on my sweet potatoes, or you can use them as side dish for dinner or lunch. 
So there are plenty of ways for you to eat these three superfoods and to, to just to help get your the result that you want with your, your exercise, of course. So if you are somebody who's struggling trying to get the best results, trying to get your stomach flattened a little bit, try these three superfoods and see if they work out for you. If you don't like any of these superfoods that I just share with you, you can you know Google and search any of those out there that may be your best food and incorporate them in your diet and stay consistent with them with your daily exercise and I promise you, you'll get the best result that you're looking for. But I want to tell you, don't just do it for a week or a month and give up. It has to be one, it has to be part of your life, your everyday life. And please don't eat and not work out either. You have to do both together in order to get the result that you're looking for. So will you try these superfoods or any other superfoods you find out there and see if they work out for you? Will you? Thank you very much for watching this video. Share this video, like if you do like it, subscribe if you have not subscribed to this channel, subscribe below and also check out the rest of my videos. Thank you very much for your support.